Hello everybody and welcome to day two of the old Slovenian farm. So, uh, last night was pretty rough. Uh, we lost four animals to starvation. I looked all over the place. I couldn't find any grass to cut, nothing to feed them. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sell all of our animals for now. Uh, just because we're really not prepared to take care of them right now. You know, we need to make some money. As you see, we lost another $1,000 for maintenance and upkeep on our equipment. Um, so I did talk to another farmer, and he's willing to give us a job uh, working his field. So we're going to do that today, but we're also going to sell most, if not all, of our animals. So we're going to come in here. Animal dialogue. We got cows. We're going to sell all four of our cows. One of them died. And we're going to confirm that. That will give us $3,639. So I get, actually, yeah, there's no reason to keep this store closed now. Yeah, there is. Just because it's going to swing out into the open. So next up, we'll go and find our pigs and sell them if I can. Animal dialogue. Where's my animal dialogue? There we go. So we got three pigs. I believe two of them died. And we will go and sell our sheep as well. And then we're going to get to work. We're going to go and see the farmer that we will begin working for. So we're going to take the zeter out. It's still a little bit dark out, so we'll put our lights on. Watch out, chicken. Whoa, I almost hit the pole there. Uh, gotta find our sheep first. Go around these chicken. I believe they're this way. Well, I'm not 100% positive. Oh, yeah, they're right here. So, we're just gonna leave that there. We're gonna come up here. See, our sheep are actually right here. So, oh, what did I do? I got myself stuck. Oh, we've got nine sheep still. So yeah, one sheep died, two pigs, and one cow. So we're confirm we're going to sell all of them for now. We will b get more animals when we can afford it. But right now we really can't afford it. So I'm going to try and do a U-turn in the middle of the road here. That's good. And we're going to go work for our new employer. So he's going to be supplying us with work in exchange for paying us. I could have just gone through my farm, but I'm dumb and I'm taking the long way around. So, we checked at field number six. Uh, that farmer said he's got no work for us, but he would keep us in mind for future. Uh, but the farmer up here at field number 10 and 18 did have work for us. I'm not sure where his farm is. It's pretty close to our farm, though. So that works out for us. Well, 19, sorry, not 10. So 18 and 19. Turn off our tractor. Park it right there. Hopefully it's not in the way. So James Harris has got some work for us. Hey there, you got a minute? I'm kind of in a bind. A couple of our regular guys didn't show this morning. Now, I was going to have them sow a field, but if you can handle it, I'd just as soon get you to do it rather than wait on them. Just swing by on, swing on by when you're ready, and I'll set you up with everything you need. $929 work for you? I think so. So he's going to give us... We're going to be using his equipment for this, obviously. Uh, so he's giving us a 700 Vario Fent to work with, uh, with a front weight, and a Tempo F8 sewing machine. So we're going to go ahead and start this mission. Turn on all of our lights, because it is still pretty dark out. Put the weight on the front of our tractor. And attach that. Go ahead and unfold our sewing machine. Well, his sewing machine. Actually, that's not where I want to be. I'm just going to back up to here. He's already filled it with seed for us, so we don't have to worry about that. We just have to lower it and get busy. Try and follow the outline. 
I usually like to work around the field like this instead of the, just the traditional up and down, up and down. I usually like to do an outer layer first so I'm not going out off the field too much. Just that way, you know, it gives us a border around the edge of the field. Like I said, so we don't go off the field too much. Is the water frozen or is that fog? Huh. And then there we missed a little bit too much for my liking right there. So we're just going to back it up here. And start just like that. There we go. He's given us eight minutes to do this field. It's actually a pretty decent sized field. <coughs> See our tractor parked over there. I like this vent. Hopefully we can upgrade our equipment. We're going to be making a lot of money if we just keep working for him. I want to buy another field. Uh... See if I can find some gra more grass to mow so that we can work on animals. Um, I'll make my s I'll make us have a stash of hay bales too, so that we were prepared when we do buy more animals. Uh, it was very unfortunate uh, to see that day pass, and we lost four animals in one day. It's not really something that you want to see when you're a farmer of course if you're just anybody you don't want to see an animal pass but uh, it is what it is we had to sell them couldn't have, we couldn't uh, take care of them properly we weren't prepared for it we didn't have the equipment we didn't have the resources because I couldn't find grass to cut for it so now we're gonna focus on building up our supply of uh, grains and all that so corners are getting a bit tight in this field they might cut up the middle here about halfway done the field so yeah James has offered to give us continuous employment for as long as he has work for us to do uh, so that was very nice of him I missed a little bit of a spot there I'll have to come back for it don't want to disappoint James in our first day on the job we'll come back down across here. I'm missing quite a few spots aren't I I'm just going to cut across here and get where I missed, where the angle that I created when I made across the middle there. So James doesn't seem too fussy on if we miss small little spots, but if we start to miss big spots, then obviously he won't be too impressed with our work. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Turning radius isn't very good with this sewing machine. So now I'm actually going to start doing the up and down work. Just because it's a lot more efficient. You don't miss as much. We're nearly done the field anyway. So. It's the best method of approach at this point if 
for anybody that's a subscriber on my channel, if you're waiting for another NASCAR video that is coming soon, I promise. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm uploading. I'm recording a bunch in bulk right now, so it might NASCAR might have come out yesterday. It might come out tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but there will be more. Oh, where am I going? I'm missing part of it here. Yeah, there will for sure be more NASCAR videos coming out soon. In career mode uh, for NASCAR Heat Three. Uh, even though the season for NASCAR is winding down, uh, the videos are just getting started. I'm in the final two minutes of this field. I better get a move on. We're almost done with it, though. Timer's in the red. That means we're running out of time. He's not going to give us much longer. To f there we go. So we got $929 for sowing that field for him. And now I believe we can go back to our own farm and just check on... See if there's anything else. So we got eighteen thousand dollars in the bank, and yeah, we came in this way. This is the way we're gonna go out. This, these roads, man, they're so bumpy. Wow. If that doesn't make you seasick, or car sick, tractor sick, I guess. This is the field we sowed yesterday. Uh, not much to see here. I'm just going to turn the time scale up to 15 just because the data is going pretty slow. Uh, just looking for eggs real quick. Don't see any. No, no eggs. So we're going to go and park this tractor. We're going to go find our harvester. And bring that over here so it is ready for when we're ready to harvest. I don't mean to teleport, but the harvester is pretty far. And we got no other way of getting to it, so. Better turn on our beacons for driving down the road. That's the shop right there. Should we buy this field number two right here? It's a nice little field. $13,000. James owns it. Wow. Okay, but $13,000, I'm not going to buy that right now. That is pretty expensive. Uh, we only have 18000 so. I'm just going to see where I can get it. I'm not sure if the harvester will make it up that hill there. Uh, this does look like the chicken drop-off. Let's see how many eggs I have. $62 worth of eggs. So we will just bring this tractor, the harvester here, over to our farm. And then I think that will be it for this episode. There's not really much to do until the harvest. Sorry about that, Mr. Carr. Um, yeah, not really much to do until we harvest. So, uh, I mean, we'll be doing the odd jobs. We're going to try and... Yeah, I might see if I can buy a front loader and sell some logs. Do some logging. Uh, just with a front loader and a trailer. That might work. I might have to redneck it a bit. I'm not sure I can afford a log trailer, but... We'll we'll try something. See what we can get done. Oh, now, the question is, where do we park this? I might have to park it in the cow shed. Too bad that's not a working door. Would have been perfect. I know the header is over here, but there's no sheds over here that would fit the harvester. Unless. Excuse me. Unless I park it over here. It'll be a tight fit, but I think it will fit in the sheep shed over here. No, it won't. Okay. Oh, we almost. Oh, we did hit. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's not very good. We're hitting everything here. I gotta be careful. 
So we're going to vote here. And before we block off traffic, I want to go open that door first. And make sure we don't block traffic for too long because there's not room for the harvester to be parked on the road. It'll definitely fit in here, so. This is a big piece of equipment. The biggest thing we own, that's for sure. Oh, I hope it'll fit in here. Don't come any closer, Mr. Truck. Looks like a Ford Bronco. Oh, this is gonna be tight. We're gonna have to pull it onto the road here. And back it in straight, completely straight. Oh, it still won't fit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we could leave it like this. No, we can't. Okay, so I'll see if it'll fit under here. If not, I'll just have to leave it out in the open. Uh, it's a shame that the shed that it did fit under was way back there at the shop. But I think it should fit. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so I'll just park it off to the side of the shed here, and that'll be good for the harvester. Right up to the fence here. Turn that off. And we're good. So, it's going to be another short day today. Uh, obviously not much to get done. Uh, let's go back to our farm. Let's close that garage door over here. We could park some smaller equipment in there if we ever expand. But for now, I think we're good with where our equipment is. I'm just going to grab the zeter and fix the baler's little dilemma there. It's a little bit into the wall there. There we go. That should be good. And then we can't drive back in there, but we will just drive over here and park this in its usual spot and yeah that's it's getting pretty foggy anyway and dark uh, we're gonna call it a day here I know it was a really short day but uh, there wasn't too much to do we did do a field for James we'll probably do that again tomorrow uh, I'll probably keep working for him until we're ready to harvest this field uh, like I said I do want to see if I can get into some logging, see if I can uh, make up some sort of way to transport logs and sell them if there's any selling point for logs. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching today. I know it's a short one, short day on the farm, but uh, they'll, they'll get busier as we get more fields and all that. So. We should have more to do pretty soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like.